What if I say Grok 2, the new version of Grok LLM model from X, the Elon Musk company, is now going to beat in some benchmark with the greatest model we have like GPT-4, Claude, Llama 3.1, 405 billion and more. This is going to be super duper amazing that every few weeks we are getting really amazing models from different different companies. The sad part is this is not going to be open source but the good part is you can use, you can try it out on the leaderboard arena and we are going to do all of these things in this video. We are going to look into the Grok2, what is inside it, what's new release, everything in this video. But let's welcome you all by saying welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this video is all about the Grok2 new release. Elon Musk is shining once again because Grok2 is super amazing. Let's explore this and then we will going to ask Grok2 three really difficult questions and see how it performs. So first of all, you need to visit the x.ai, the website. Then you can click here on the learn more. When you click there, then you land on this blog post which says Grok2 beta release on 13th of August. Basically this Grok2 release is a combination of two releases from the Grok family which is for Grok2 the real premium model and second is Grok2 mini. Now Grok2 mini as every LLM company is releasing one is bigger model one is smaller so Grok2 mini is a smaller model with less parameters but with a high speed and accurate responses. Now both models are available on the X platform, formerly the Twitter. But if you think that okay that's good let's try it out you cannot be because this Grok2 is only available on the X platform. And to use this Grok, you need to be the premium member of X platform. You can be the premium or premium plus user to access both of these models. And that's how Elon thinks that everything should be paid. And there is no time when you need to pay just to log into the X platform. <laughs> just kidding. It could be the case, but who, who knows what Elon thinks. Okay, so if Grok2 is not generally available, not freely available, then how we can try it out? How we know that it's really amazing? So earlier version of Grok2 has been tested on the leadership uh, leaderboard arena under the name of Sus Column R. Again, a weird name. Yeah, Elon can do anything. Okay, so at the time of this blog post, it outperformed Claude 3.5 and GPT-4 Turbo. So Claude 3.5 is good, but why they're comparing with GPT-4 Turbo since GPT-4 O or and 4 O Mini are there. So they should compare it with 4 O, but that, that's how they see that, hey, my model is so great. This is the way to enhancing how great their model is. Anyways, let's move, let's move forward. Again, check out the benchmarking here. So. On the benchmark, it says that it outperformed on GPT-QA, MMLU and math competitions. So let's see how it performed with again amazing models we have. F considering about GPT-QA which is uh, graduate level science knowledge, it actually outperformed gpt 4 So with a 56% on Grok2, 53% on GPD 40, but it's behind the Claude, which is 59.6, the best model we have till now. Talking about the MMLU, multimodal language understanding of the model, how it can understand what you are asking. So you can see it's little behind the GPD 40 and Sonnet because it's just 87.5 and 88.7 for GPT-40 and 88.3 for Claude Sonnet. But 
if you see the MMLU Pro, the better and the complex version of this multimodal language understanding, you can see that GPT 4.0 is just 72.6, but Grok is 75.5, which is very, very close to Claude with 76.1. This means it's really amazing on the complex task if you ask. Let's talk about the math, the general math and the math vista for the algebra thing. So normal math is 76.1, which is 76.1, which is little, little, very little less than GPT-40, but better than Claude. And talking about the Math Vista, Math Vista is 69% here, which is better than GPT-40 and Claude Sonnet. So, if you see the last one, which is how better this is understanding any documentations or any document you send, let's say PDF, it's 93% accurate, which is better than GPT-40, but lesser than the Claude. So, Overall, if I can say that this Grok 2, the premium Grok 2 model is really, really amazing. It outperformed GPT-40 in various benchmarks and just behind the Claude Sonnet model, the best in class model we have till now. This means Grok 2 can do really amazing magical things on the X platform. So if you can be the member of X Premium, try it out surely. But if you want to use this Croc through an API, then yes, very soon the Enterprise API will be available on the X platform. So through X platform, you can use the Croc 2 and Croc 2 Mini. Obviously, you need to pay, but that makes sense because yes, we are paying for the OpenAI models too. But what next? Yes, so they are doing really great things and it's going to be evolved day by day and we are going to see really great models in the future. Okay, that's great. Now is the time to test this model out. So here I am on chatlmsys.org, direct chat. I have selected this model which is SUS column R which is the real Grok 2 model. Let's ask some amazing questions. So the first question I'm going to ask is a reasoning question. If you remove all red balls from a bag containing three red ball, five blue ball and two green ball, what is the probability of next ball to be drawn as red? So we know that it's going to be just zero, but let's see how it evaluate things so initial balls wow that's great it's uh, doing step by step removing balls so no red ball left and remaining balls are this probability calculations is doing that okay so it has a formula and finally it come up with a nice answer of red is zero so probability of getting red is zero and this is really great see uh, getting answer is not that good but how it's getting the answer is really important so it's evaluating each and everything one by one step by step and then finally come up with a uh, real formula and calculating the answer that's great now let's ask some different question this time i'm going to ask a math question a complex math question so here's the question which is just solving for x which is a complex question which says that e to the power x to the power 2 with a log of 2 and how it's coming up with the answer it's just taking the natural log on both side and doing this and yeah it's doing really really great and uh, we are getting the answer very quickly and uh, that's that's nice actually that's really great and finally let's ask a simple math question which is school level question so it's now going to convert and we should get the answer in meter per second and let's see how it performs so yes it's doing great and i have actually compared all these questions with chat gpt and chat gpt is doing exactly similar one thing i don't like in this uh, grok model is this kind of uh, equation so fraction 48 times it should be properly formatted in a 
way which human can understand so let's ask that uh, can you convert these equations in a normal format by using symbols okay let's see how it convert the equations so for exponential okay it's doing things but again again see pm sqrt this is not this is not good so it's doing the things in a right way but for human uh, reading this is not that uh, amazing this is not the way we as a human can perform the mathematical expressions anyways overall it seems like a really good model and compared to chat gpt is is obviously better but if you compare it with claude sonnet it's not that amazing so my question to you is whether this grok 2 will be available to everyone or not what do you think that is there any model which can really really outperform even the cloud sonnet in the future if so which company will going to create that model which outperform the best in class model we have is it going to be the open ai the meta google grok or anyone just let me know in the comment section which company will going to really really blow the ai model things in the coming future just let me know let's have a discussion and we will meet in the next video till then goodbye